Let's head into round number two. Don't mind what's about to happen because your mind is about to be blown. Yes, it is not Grixis Death Shadow, and it is not Blue White Control. We are having to set things up on the fly. Now, the thing about Behind this matchup scenes, guys. is um, Ryan has been playing Nan's Infect deck. He has. And has been having a lot of success with it. Yes, consistently going like 4 1 or so. Mm -hmm. um, give or take yeah. every, every single week. So um, he's been enjoying it. We've done some tweaks to it to kind of change up the sideboard a little bit, make it a little bit more resilient to some of our prison based decks that are running around. Um, because. That seems to be a consistent thing, whether it's Red White Prison, whether it's like a Tron Eldrazi, hate you out with Chalice of the Void kind of stuff. Well, you know, he's got ways to deal with it now, at least better prepared in the sideboard, so. Um, but, you know, Jamie opted for a little bit of a different deck. Yeah, I was going to say, you Green, by chance? White Tron. Oh, it's Green White Tron? Mm-hmm. All right. Let Throwing me... it back to the good old classic for him. Classic. You know, he played it for a while, um, was a fan of it, and decided, you know what, I'll play it again. Um, battled me round one. That's the only reason I remember it. Mm. Um, and uh, I was on Hardened Scales. Okay. So, didn't oh, work I'm sure so you well uh, for me. That's okay. That is all okay. And the players are going to be rolling to decide who goes first. Now, when you think about this matchup, a lot of people are go, wow, this is a really easy one for Infect. And a lot of times you think that because of how quick the deck is. But a Tron player with Natural Tron on turn 3 into a Karn... I hate it. Is almost... It's really sad. ...an unwinnable position for an Infect player to I agree. be in. I agree. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty sad position to be in. I now, like it. you can be set up nicely and, and have, like, a Vines or a Blossoming Defense or something to say, oh, you're going to exile my creature? No, he's protected. You cannot do that. Sure. Um, but it's... Not an easy... It's not as easy as Ad Nauseam versus Infect. You know? Oh, I see what you did there. See, see that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget. I'll never forget when we went <laughs> to... Uh, I don't know if it was a States, if it was a regional... An but, event. Yeah, it was an event in Baltimore. And I'm sitting across from my opponent. And uh, he basically... He's playing Ad Nauseam. And I'm playing it, in fact. Yeah. And he plays a C Chrome to start, and I'm like, easy. <laughs> this is this is exactly <laughs> this what I want. The, yes. You know, he's not gonna be doing anything. This is gonna be great for me. Mm -hmm. I'm on Plan Z by the end of it, but he's on Plan Z as well. <laughs> I'm beating him down for one mm. with a noble hierarch off of Exalted, and he's just trying to find Something. one of his win conditions <laughs> to kill me. Uh, we had to giggle about it afterward. <laughs> so Jamie plays the mine, plays the star, decides to go ahead and crack it. Yep, he's going to float a green. Sure. Ancient stars. So in the, yeah, in these early stages of cracking your spheres and your stars and stuff like that, you are going to want to say for green so you can be able to do something like self and scrying, which oh, we see now, or good. ancient stirrings. So it had to be a purple off that star. So of course. Versus, here's the power plant. Let me fling that at you. Mm -hmm. Ban Urza's <laughs> power plant. MTG green energy. <laughs> Hashtag. Ryan's going to go to 19 and get a breeding pool. Mm -hmm. How many breeding pools are you running? Three. Okay. I like the three, mm -hmm. personally. Um, post Gataxian probe. Helps out. Have Sylvan Scrying Mirror Match? Ooh. I mean, true. I, I would it's be shocked. I would be shocked if he played a Sylvan Scrying here. Yeah. 
Looks like he had an, uh, yeah. Yeah, Blighted Agent's definitely better than Sylvan's Crying. Yeah. Right here. Plus you already have your Ink Moth. Right. There's some little log in his hand. Yep, sure. That's, that's perfectly fine. Now... Power Plant's gonna get an Expedition map. Oh, Ballista. Ballista for one. Shoot that. Oh. And look, he's sitting there with that Pendleaven. Uh, Mutagenic growth. Yep. Got bad. him. Feels kind of bad. I'll go to 17, he says, to keep my guy alive. I mean, I guess I guess in the grand scheme of things, losing that Ballista is probably okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Pendlehaven seems fine. Yeah. Yeah, sure. He's completely tapped out. You don't have to worry about any... Um, Shenanigans of having to sack an attacking creature or something like that. Yep. So, uh, uh, it just deals one though. Uh, ah, plays an elf. Silver Scar. Oh, uh, plays an. Oh, he's just okay. All right. So he's basically just showing Jamie. I. I don't know if I agree with the elf. Like or the like all of them coming down here. Um. He may be just trying to empty his hand, but it also seems like a show of strength. It just, is, but so, like, the only thing I'm worried about is, again, a natural into a Tron play here, and then he has an Oblivion Stone and just blows you out. And you lose your whole board. True. Um, it's the very, very risk that he takes. Right. So that's what I was like. I like playing one other creature here, but I don't know if I agree with playing both of them. But, then, you know, the, you, there's arguments that you can be made for both of those aspects of it. And seeing that he is tapped out right now, the map is sitting on the board, you know, he probably doesn't have He's still trying to build land, his resources. You know, that's good possibility. So, one mana floating, here's two. Crack the map. Go get my tower. And pass. He played that ghost quarter just as an extra defense against the ink moth. Here. Sure. But there's still there's like still a lot of power. Like all he has to do at this point is just all right. So Fetch. incoming groundswell. Quite possible. Also, he's filling up his graveyard right now for a becoming bends. Yep. Um, Looks like he's going to go down to 14. Yep. And checking the math, there's three cards in the graveyard. And he could say three double breeding pool ink moth to pay for the become amends. Still have the Pendle Haven to pump another creature. Guaranteeing at least doing three, not including the seven from become amends. So deadsies? Hmm. Double Dead Seas. Here comes three. Pump. Pendlehaven on this guy. And I, I like the uh, the Pendlehaven on the Glistener Elf. Ooh, Twisted Image. Okay, draw. Fill so up now that is a 3-2. And boom. Become a 1-2. And here's the 4. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. That's what we like to see when we're, we've got Infect out. There we go. Alright. Let's pull up boards real quick. Bam, bam. Whose would you like to read off? Uh, I'll let you read yours. I mean, Ryan's. <laughs> okay. So, Jamie's got two of the Beast Thrag Tusk, two Warping Whale, one Nature's Claim, Two Leyline of Sanctity, one Basilisk Collar, one Sacred Ground, one Rest in Peace, one Terra Eternal, hmm. one Card Liberated, one Spell Skite, and two Blessed Alliance. Um, for an Infect player, I would hate to see that Spell Skite. Yeah. I would hate to see those two Blessed Alliances. Mm -hmm. um, you can make the ar I feel like you can make the argument for at least one Warping Whale. Yeah, that's a good point. You know point. what I mean? Maybe not both. You know, even though there's a couple modes on the card, but mm. being able to nag one a creature seems pretty good. I um, don't know if he's running Basilisk Collar, but that 
is a decent addition because um, he's probably running maybe a play set of Walking Ballista now. Mm. Um, if he's opted to include it in his sideboard, maybe not. You know, could be could be wrong in that regard. But that you know, you could make that argument because one damage will be enough to kill off any creature. Gotta be. We ran that in our base's end sideboard. Oh. Um, so over on Ryan's side, he's got double Pith and Needle, one Viridian Corruptor, two Seal of Primordium, one Nature's Claim, one Pulse Morasa, one Spell Scout, one Grafter's Cage, one Relic of Progenitus, two Dispel, two Kitchen Finks, and an Echoing Truth. Whew. Um, I'm gonna slow down there. Pithy Needles, Viridian Corruptors seem great. Yeah. That's like. You don't have to slow up too much for it. For it, you can continue to be really fast. Shave off on a pump spell or two. Add in something like that. You know there's going to be planeswalkers. There's going to be activated abilities. Pith Needle works out great. There's specific artifacts that could be coming out, like you were talking about Spellskite. Corruptor works out pretty well in that regard. So I like the going for that route. So not too much that you need to be adding in for this. Again, like. In fact, still wants to try to go fast, get in there, get damage done quickly. Tron's going to be playing a more grindy style. So let's see. Jamie will be on the play this time. Mm-hmm. And... I see one fetch land. I see a uh, Might of Old Crosa. I see a Glistener Elf. Yeah, I also saw a Blighted Agent, too. Oh, well. Jamie, not happy with his, going to be... Shuffling it up, gonna be dropping six. So how do you think Jamie's feeling? Um, like down a game, having to mulligan down to six. Cautiously optimistic. Okay. That is that That's is a my nice description of yeah. It. That is my description for a lot of things that have gone on this weekend. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. I like it. Yeah. Uh, is that just one land though? Because I don't know how I feel about just a one land here. Ah, uh, drew into Off another the top. land. Must be nice. <laughs> Jamie's going to play an expedition map and pass. Ryan, 17? It's got to yeah. be 17. Only way to play. Yep, breeding pool. I need to go get my breeding pool signed. Oh. One of these days. I think the next event that he'll be at is Richmond or something like that. Mm. Somewhere down that way. Coaster Elf. Razor Verge thickened into an ancient stirring. Nice. Looks like they're... Uh, maybe somewhere. getting that Ballista, which seems pretty good. He could also be needing a land, though. So it's like, has some really good choices. Yeah. Looks like this is great. I believe in the power of walking Ballista, Jamie says. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Ancient Stirrings is going to go away, not a permanent. Here's one Poison Counter. Pink. Pool. Gonna take three more. Dropping to 14. Now, here is where if he plays the Blighted Agent, I'm gonna feel a little uneasy. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. This is basically saying go ahead, play that Walking Ballista. I don't care. Yep. It's got a card in hand. Ballista. It's going to go to one. Yeah, I mean, you can use the Ballista to block and then shoot another one down. So essentially only one's getting through. And you can't pull the Ballista up, right? It's not like the Hanger Backwalker where you pay into it? You can. You could pay into the Walking Ballista at any time? Costs four to pay into it. Compared wow. to the one of Hanger Back. Okay. Um, mutagenic to keep that alive, it looked like. So he'll go to 12. And that will put Jamie up to five poison counters. Uh, 
crack the map. Let's go get the tower. Yep, we'll have five mana available to him. But I play an oblivion stone. There's a mite of old Kuros in hand still. So unless you've got some warping whales, exile a one toughness or one power creature. Mm-hmm. You're going to be real sad. But didn't play them. I guess it doesn't matter. You can just make uh, instant it. Yeah, that's enough. Yep. And yeah, okay. Uh, I think he drew. I think he had an Apostle's Blessing in his hand, so it didn't even matter. I think I wouldn't mind him doing it main phase two to try to bait something out. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Like, you see, he just cleans it up. Like, Jamie kind of left hoping. Yep. There. Ooh. Two very quick matches. Hey, you know. It's not even 7.30. We're home for dinner. Yeah. That's, that's where I'm at right now. That sounds great to me. Home for dinner. Um, round two is in the books. So we're going to do this again, guys, because, uh, again, things got a little messed up. Was having to deal with, you know, real life stuff. Uh, essentially putting out fires all day on Monday. And... Uh, Missed the stream, so we're playing catch up. So, this is two weeks ago, say May 23rd, um, and we're gonna be seeing TJ versus Dwayne on camera next, both sitting at six points. Kind of ended up beating you. Mm -hmm. What were you on? Do you remember this time? Were you back? Oh, you were on your Esper again. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a neat idea, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's a neat idea, it is, but uh, execution is poor. Mm -hmm. Execution is poor. now. I'm wondering. Um, because I've seen the Mardu tokens list, mm -hmm. and that still runs Shark Confidant and things like that, and Lingering Souls, and but then does have access to Lightning Bolt. Yeah, Lightning Bolt would actually be nice in that list. I feel like that might yeah. be... Lightning Bolt would definitely what be can nice help push in that you list. Over, because it still can run your Mentor and do things like that, but I don't know, maybe we can do some tweakings. Uh, you're going to be on something that doesn't involve tokens for a little bit, though. No. So. Yeah. All right, guys. Round three. Bum, 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 bum. Executioner's swing. We're not on round three. My computer hates me tonight. Don't mind me, guys. So, uh... What's new? Played some Magic Online over the weekend. Oh, nice. Nice. Um... Lots of Death Shadow and lots of mm -hmm. um, Counter Company. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing. Very popular.